If he's not contacting you, these 10 things will make him chase you again. Hello, my name is Greta Berishida. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I share with you 10 ways on how you can make him to chase you again, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value, which I will drop down in the video description box below. And my merch chase goals no drama you can get this here in my youtube store so if you're in a place where you don't know what has happened he used to pursue you before he used to call you text you care about you look after you ask you how is your day but now he's not doing these things anymore so let me start with the tip number one on how you can turn this all around number one is if you feel like he is taking you for granted, like he doesn't care that much, he's not doing things for you anymore, he's kind of ignoring you, or maybe he's becoming interested in other girls, usually happens because the guy starts to feel very, very safe in a relationship. He knows how you feel about him. He usually knows that you're really into him. He can see it through your actions. Maybe you also wear your heart on a sleeve and you overshare these things with him or maybe you nag and complain which also show how much you care if he's taking you for granted usually you need to change your behavior you need to change your patterns usually the things that you're doing that are making him take you for granted please don't beat yourself up thinking that maybe you're not good enough or you're boring that you don't have enough of value or worth or whatever else is coming into your head and making you feel insecure about yourself it's usually not bad and usually all you need to change is just your behavior towards him because you're making him feel too secure and too comfortable in this relationship ladies think about it right if you're let's say you are in a job and after let's say five years you figure the job out inside out there is no growth anymore there is nothing else to figure out you're literally in a job where you know everything inside out you can work with your eyes closed right it's boring it becomes your comfort zone you start to take it for granted that you don't appreciate it anymore you start to nag and complain about it you're not excited to go to that workplace anymore even if you know it inside out you feel like you need something new something fresh something exciting so this is exactly how a guy feels when he knows you inside out he kind of treats you same as you treat your comforting job in order for him to chase you again to pursue again you need to change some patterns within yourself that he doesn't know about or he needs to figure out or learn which will again make him feel excited about you same as in the workplace if somebody would come in and would start to offer some new changes so usually we kind of rebel against new changes but long term we are usually very happy that those changes happen because it made our life much more curious and exciting and of course going back to the guy may rebel to those those changes first because now he's in a comfort zone right but after a couple of months he'll get used to that get more happy towards you in the long run if your guy is taking you for granted and you don't know what to do about it check out my video right here number two how to get a guy to chase you again so many ladies that i'm coaching are repeating the same pattern which is that in the beginning she was not that interested she had her own life she was going for her goals and dreams she didn't care that much she was all happy independent and the guy was excited about her he was pursuing her whereas now she put her life on a hold for him she is always there for him putting him as a priority 
and the guy automatically doesn't appreciate that because he feels like he is the only one who's valuable in this relationship which kind of makes sense when you think about it because if you're putting your life on a hold for him of course he's gonna feel like he's the only one that's valuable because you're showing look my life is not valuable I'm putting it on a hold for you therefore you the only person that brings value to my life or I'm here to put you as a priority and worship you right when you behave like this with your action this is how you make the relationship look and and this is how he starts to feel. So if you want him to see value in you, you need to make yourself and your life valuable again. So how do you do it? The majority of case, you do just one very simple thing. Well, it sounds simple. It's not as simple as it sounds, but you do this one thing. You go back to how you used to be. So you go back to the girl that he fell in love with the first time. Number three, this is kind of very logical and it should make sense to everyone, but it doesn't. There is a simple answer, don't chase him. If you are chasing somebody, if you're pursuing them through your text messages, through phone calls, through affection, through a touch, through wearing your heart on a sleeve, through um, taking him out, through competing for the guy, there is no point for that person to compete for you, to pursue you through messages, through phone calls, through charming you. Think about it if you're chasing somebody, if you're playing a game of chase, right? Let's see, as kids we have this game of chase, right? When you're chasing that person, this person is running away because you're chasing them and then eventually you catch them, right? When you touch them or when you catch them, then you start to run away and they start to chase you, right? It doesn't happen like both people would be chasing each other. If both people are, there is no place to run, <laughs> you know? So if you are the one pursuing him, of course, how is he gonna be chasing you back? For if you want him to pursue you and you feel like you might have been chasing him, just stop. Or if you've been really pursuing him and you know that now he thinks about you like you're this girl who is very needy and who's crazy about him. Completely stopping might be too big of a shock. It's not everyone's personality to drastically like stop things, right? Um, some people like to like kind of slowly fade away. But once you'll slowly start to kind of fade away, he'll slowly start to pursue you. Number four, how to make a guy to pursue you again is follow your destiny. Follow the path that God has for you. And ladies, worshiping a man and putting a man as a priority, never really a God's plan. Unless he's already your husband and you're sharing your destiny and you're having a teamwork and you're both going towards the same path. If it's not the case, follow the path that God has for you. Something a little bit out of topic. If you are a believer in destiny, I know some of you are not and some of you might be. So if you're looking for your destiny, you need to remember that only God has your destiny. So if you want to follow your destiny, you need to submit your life to God. You need to give your life to God and then ask God to direct you towards your destiny. So therefore, he's in charge of your destiny and he'll guide you towards your destiny. If you are a believer in creating your own life, creating your own destiny, well then you need to go for your own goals and dreams, not for his goals and dreams, but for your own goals and dreams. So how will this impact him pursuing you? This will impact him pursuing you because you will automatically become a challenge because you will not be trying to fit in his destiny or into his goals and dreams but you will be following your own therefore as a man if he wants you have to go out of his way 
pursue you and fit in around your life to get you. It says in the Bible, it's a man who finds his wife. So you just go towards your destiny and you let a man find you. This is also a perfect example of a healthy way giving a man uncertainty. And as I mentioned before, men need uncertainty because we have testosterone. We like the chase, we like the goal, Goals, you like you being a challenge. How to be a challenge for a man? Check out my video right here. Number five, how to get a man to pursue you is do not get manipulated in today's society's nonsense where we constantly see women fighting for men or men putting themselves on a pedestal and pretending to be kings and saying things like, you know, kings don't chase women and you are the prize and stuff like that. Or maybe a man chatting you up and telling you how equal cool you both are. Usually when guys call women equal, a lot of them have like a manipulative intention, kind of like we are equal, we are doing 50-50 in a relationship. Don't expect me to pursue you. Don't expect me to treat you as a lady. Because I see us equal, meaning that I see us the same. So expect me to treat you as I would be treating another man. A lot of men, when they pursue you and we mention equal, Quality. A lot of times we have a manipulative seed in place, which is the one I literally just described now. So don't fall for the scraps. Stick to your standards, stick to your beliefs, and don't let the society manipulate you. Number six, if you're in a place where you're maybe online dating or you met a guy and he is not pursuing you and expecting you to do the work, you basically go like, thank you, next. You know, don't even give attention to a guy like that because it is not your job as a lady to do that. The less time you will waste on guys who behave like that, the less time you will invest into these type of guys, the more feminine and the more valuable as a woman, as a lady, you will feel. Number seven, another thing is ladies, when a guy comes after you again and he starts to chase you or pursue you again, don't waste your time on these losers. And there are so many guys like that. They pursue you for years, years, and years years. We keep asking you out and as soon as you say yes, they let you down. And it's always the same cycle. A lot of times it's even like 10 years or 15 years later, it's still the same cycle. The guy still has not changed. My advice for you ladies here is don't waste your time on these losers. A lot of times we get smitten then the guy, let's say, keeps pursuing us, you know, for a long period of time. Wow, he must really like me. He's been doing it for so many years. And when your hope builds up, well, maybe he's really into me because it's been just happening for so many years. He's just not letting me go. You know, maybe he is the one. And when you start to talk to this guy and you can see straight away that he's literally exactly the same old loser that he used to be. Like that nothing has changed. My point is don't waste your time chatting with these guys. After a while you might even start to consider this type of guy. And at the end of the day you wasted your time, you built your hopes up and now you got even more disappointed. When the guy disappoints you, a lot of times you don't just get disappointed because of this guy, you usually get disappointed about many men. Just a loser like that can impact your opinion on many healthy, great guys. It's just really not worth it. Number eight, how to get a guy to chase you again is start doing little things in life that make you happy. Okay, maybe in childhood you used to do some things that you forgot about now. Maybe as a child you used to paint a lot. Maybe as a child you used to write a lot. Maybe as a child you used to write a lot of poems. Maybe you used to take parts in sports that you don't do anymore. 
reflect on your whole life and think about the things that made you happy before and try doing these little things, things that make you happy. Then you will do things that make you happy. You will become much happier person. Of course, when you're happy and positive, you're gonna attract more people because people love being with happy and positive people. People love being with others that, that make them happy. When we leave your presence, we still feel cheerful and happy. In order for you to have this presence, you must be happy yourself. So you must do things that you enjoy doing. And on top of that, we have social media, right? Share your happy things. Share your happy things in the stories online. Make sure we are positive and healthy. If you want him back and he's watching your stories, he's seeing that you're doing little things to make yourself happy. You're not this naggy, complaining, negative person. If he broke up with you or if he goes to you, he will start to doubt his decision. As you'll be like, wow, this girl looks so much fun. She's got friends. She looks like she's having such a good time. Have I made the right decision? Because by looking at her stories, I can see that I would love to do things that she does and I would love to be happy with her. Number nine, that makes a man chase a woman again is then a woman is a good woman. So I'm not talking about the nice girl, I'm talking about a good woman. A good woman is somebody who's a woman of her word, who does the right thing, who has values, who has morals, who takes care of herself, who takes care of others, who has a healthy mindset, who has a strong character, who is living a healthy, high-value life. By I'm saying high-value, I don't mean like a wealthy woman. When I say high-value, I mean having high-value. I mean morally high life. When you're a good woman and you live by high moral standards, not only that you're gonna be a good woman to yourself and to others, you will also have boundaries with people and you will not let people walk all over you. So if you are dating a guy who's been unreliable, who has been letting you down, who has not been a man of his word, who you finally had enough of him and you let him go, then this Peter Pan will eventually get matured. He will always remember you as that good woman that slipped away, which in a lot of cases will make him pursue you again. And number 10, I just want to give you ladies a tip. If you have somebody who you have a very strong connection with, you have a lot of fun with, you have banter and you love spending time with this guy, he's cheeky and fun and all of that, but he cancels the dates, he lets you down, he is not that reliable, he plays too many games. And on the other hand, you have a guy you don't have such a deep connection with, but he is a man of his word. He is reliable, follows through. You can count on him. Long term, this man will win over this one at any time. I want to share one example. Like think about it when you have friends, right? So you have, so you're a girl and let's say you have girlfriends and you have these couple, couple of girls that you're really connecting with, right? You have so much fun with them and you laugh so much with them and they seem charming and fun and you just always have so much fun together. However, if you look at this girl's history or presence, you can see that she gossips around her other friend. You know that maybe this girl that you're connecting with a lot stabbed another girl in a bag. 
you know that maybe this girl that you connect with a lot hated on some other girl's boyfriend or maybe have done worse things than that you know and there is another friend that you have you meet up you have a good time you don't have such a strong connection but this girl never lets you down she always shows up you know you can rely on her you can trust your whole life with her and you know that she would never stab you in a bag which friend will you choose? If you still are going to go for this one, you, my friend, have a lot of work to do. So ladies, these were my 10 ways on how to get a man to chase you again. Now I got a bit out of track, so if you want more ways on how to get a man to pursue you, check out my video right here. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Women School, where we are all in the same boat, learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one with me or a member of my team, or maybe you would like to do a VIP group coaching with me and members of my team, we have all of these packages for sale on my website, which is called gretabrishita.com. And videos such as how to stay attracted via text, games men play on women, how to control your emotions, how to get your ex back, how to love yourself. If you have a hobby that you would like to make into an online business, I have all of these packages for sale, as I said, on my website, gratibirishita.com. Thank you for watching. Kisses from Dorset. Mwah.